Okay, I'm gonna show you how to take a isolated stock photo using a very simple and quick and crude setup that you can do anywhere in your home using just the basic equipment. Now, if this is the first video you've seen of me with short hair and you're wondering why I've cut it so short, it's because of this, Endura Africa. Um, I've just come back from Africa doing a, a very worthwhile um, endurance ride out there. And if you wanna learn more, just Google Nick Stubbs Endura Africa 2009 and you'll read all about it there. But just to show you this very quick and simple setup, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using. And this is what I started to use before I had any studio equipment in Spain. All I had was a camera, lens, flash gun, and a white sheet, and that is it. And that's how I started selling isolated stock shots for, for most of the micro stock agencies. Now, I'm not even gonna use, what you can, if you've got them, use a diffuser for your flash gun, one of those, or even a smaller diffuser, it doesn't matter. But just to show you how simple it is, I'm gonna show you how to use it using just a bounce flash, with the reflex card there. I'm not even gonna use the diffuser there. I'm just gonna use the white reflex card just to throw a little bit of flash forward, and that is it. Now, the settings I'm gonna use for the camera, this is quite important, are ISO 250, which is still good enough. You shouldn't get any grain as long as you expose this right. You shouldn't get any grain or noise from this, so it won't get rejected for that. I'm gonna use a 60th of a second F6.3, and that is it, and that's on manual. So switch your camera to manual, go to 60th of a second, f6.3, and ISO 250. But also set the flash exposure compensation to plus two, okay? Because you're bouncing the flash, we've talked about this in the other courses, because you're bouncing the flash up, it's got further to travel. So if you don't increase the exposure compensation, you're gonna get an underexposed photo. So double the power of the output, put it to plus two, and you should be okay. So it's simple. Lens, camera, flash gun bounced off the ceiling, ISO 250, shutter speed 60th of a second, and aperture of 6.3, which is enough to give you a good depth of field. Now, I'm just gonna set this really simple setup using this couch. I'm just gonna put cushions there for the base, cushion at the back. So that's my platform for the, for the shot. Now I'm gonna use a simple white sheet, and this is quite good nylon, it, it's, uh, it doesn't, crease it very easily. It's quite a good, I uh, can't remember the name of the actual cloth, but if you go to a, a, a shop where they sell sheets and that kind of thing, a uh, linen shop, just look for one that doesn't crease super easily. This has been folded up in the garage for the past year and it's still okay. So all we do is throw that over the top there. There's a few stains on it, but it doesn't matter because we're going to blow the background out anyway. Try and find a bit of the background that isn't too creased, such as that. So there we go we have our studio backdrop. So now all we need is a object, an object we're gonna photograph, and I'm gonna use one of my golf trophies that I won for the longest drive this year. So you simply just place that there, and there you have it, that's your studio. Now all we're gonna do, switch the flash on, camera's all ready to go, remember those settings from before, and all we do, is get back a little bit, and I'm gonna use the 70 millimeter lens, uh, end of the lens, so I'm actually gonna zoom in if I use wide angle, there can be some distortion from the object. So we're gonna use 70 millimeter, straighten that up a bit. Just zoom into the object. So I'm gonna zoom in to the plaque at the front because what I wanna do for the stock shot is actually clear that plaque of any writing so someone can add their own writing to it. So, you know, it can be a gift or a card or something to somebody. So here we go. Let's focus on that. Take the shot and hey presto, there you go. We have a great shot well exposed, there's absolutely no um, shadows around the outside of the backdrop, it's gone completely white. The bounce, bounce flash has done its job, we've got a white ceiling which is fairly low, standard height for a house, and it's come back down, bounced, and it's reflected all the shadows away. So let's look at that on the computer now, and we'll have a proper look and show you how to actually get that ready for stock. So here's that photo loaded into Canon's Digital Photo Professional RAW processing software. Obviously you can use Adobe's ACR or Lightroom or anything like that to, to process this. But as you can see, just by using bounced flash on a simple white sheet in a room with no, no studio lights, nothing else, we've managed to actually isolate this shot really well. This is the pure RAW image. There's absolutely no creases or anything showing up in the background. So we've done a really good job of isolating that image. Now it may be a little bit bright, so to counter that, when you're actually taking the photo, you could just turn the brightness of the flash down to maybe um, plus one instead of plus two exposure compensation, or you could just um, increase or de decrease the size of the aperture to about f8. 
Um, but as it is, it's a raw shot, so I can just take the brightness adjustment here and bring it down to a more suitable level, which is about there. And we've pretty much got a good shot. Um, and just, just by taking one shot, you can see how easy it is just by using the basic equipment to get an isolated stock shot. Now, ways I may improve this is to use a much smaller aperture, um, maybe to f11, f16, to get more depth of field, but it doesn't matter because the plaque here is actually well in focus. You can see there, as is the front of the golf club and bits of the ball. So we've got the main part in focus that I needed. So I'm quite happy with that as a shot, but again, it's just to prove to you how easy it is to get a white isolated shot that's well illuminated all around um, for a stock shot. Now you can try this and practice this, but if you haven't got any studio equipment, but you've just got a camera, lens and flash, just try this on a white sheet in your house using the same settings we used, and I can guarantee you'll get pretty good results. So try it with a few interesting objects, Use it as a starting point because then you can start to play with the images and make something a bit more unique because trust me, a lot of people have already done this for a lot of objects. So unless it's fairly unique and you're going to do something different with the image, then try and stick to the more traditional kind of stock images that we talk about later on in the course. But as a good tester, this is a really good way to start yourself in stock. Try a few, upload them, see how you get on, use the normal keywording uh, techniques that we talk about in the course as well. And obviously, see how you get on and post your results if you can in the forum. Upload some images to the site and, and we'll kind of take it from there. But I hope that helps. Just um, have a play and enjoy yourself and we'll see you on the next video.